Autism is a developmental disorder that affects the brain's normal development of social and communication skills. And for many who have it, they live in a world where they have to rely on others to tackle daily life. Add an inability to see anything but a fuzzy haze, and of course your life is that much more complicated. This is the story of one such local man and the doctor who tackled a challenge that no others would. A challenge with the potential to change this young man's life forever. 29-year-old Stephen lives in a world different than most. He's autistic. His mom, Beatty, helps him navigate and overcome the barriers Stephen's autism has erected. Never in his life did he see anything except maybe three feet in front of him. He doesn't know how the forest looks. It's just a big blob, and walking down a staircase, it scares him to death because he can't see it. He goes like this. Increasing the challenge, this young man's vision problems. He has a high astigmatism, and his vision is as clouded as his social interactions. He doesn't wear glasses properly. He can't wear contacts because he can't handle them. His vision is so poor he keeps running into things. One answer might have been laser surgery, but doctor after doctor said he was not a viable candidate. Dr. Arungalani disagreed. You've decided to take on this challenge when other doctors said no. Why? As you know, Bruce, uh, I do a lot of complex LASIK cases, uh, especially high astigmatism cases. But this gentleman, if you meet him, you'll see an opportunity to change his life. Someone has to do it. And I'm willing to go on the line. I mean, it's a passion for me to make people see. And uh, I take this not only as a challenge, but as an opportunity to make a difference in someone's life. So this local laser specialist went to work to help clear things up in Stephen's blurry world. The biggest challenge in completing the surgery on this non-traditional candidate? The autism poses a challenge because uh, will he be able to follow my orders because the laser is going to track everything and the laser sculpts the cornea, right? It's invisible but painless. But will he follow my orders to center exactly where I want him to be? But Dr. Galani's concerns proved unfounded. Stephen followed directions to the T and moments after the surgery he was up walking around, unassisted, able to do something his mother never dreamed possible, see and navigate by himself more clearly than ever. So we talked about mom's hopes and desires for Stephen right after the surgery. How's he doing more than a month later? Well, I can tell you that, pardon the cliche here, the door was open to new opportunities. We're at their home in St. Augustine Shores, and mom was telling me that the day of the surgery, Stephen came home and saw a sunset for the first time, something he'd never seen before and marveled at it. And mom says that this gave him an independence she never dreamed he'd enjoy. In fact, Stephen's newfound independence allows him to enjoy a lot of things most of us take for granted. He recognizes people whose faces were nothing more than a big blur before. He can get from here to there without help. To me, it seems like he's let out of jail. He, um, when we came home after the operation, he walked all around the house and looked and looked and looked. And in the evening, there was a super sunset, and he was standing right there and looking at it. He never had seen anything like it. And though he doesn't talk much, his smile shows Stephen loves his newfound independence. Mm. There's no doubt that this family entertained the idea of approaching this surgery with an optimistic but realistic attitude. To say the change that Dr. Galani brought to Stephen's life is profound, they will tell you, is an understatement. That family had to cry tears of joy after that, right? You know, after he got out of surgery and he walked, his mother just, she, uh, her, her, her mouth was agape and she didn't know what to say. She said, because usually Stephen needs somebody to help her get around, help him get around. And Dr. Galani is so happy with the outcome of this mm -hmm. and the fact that he dealt with somebody who doesn't always follow directions as well as they should, that he's presenting Stephen's case to a national congress, actually a world congress, uh, sometime this week. Picture perfect, right?